so let's talk about the automatic focuser so i selected micro touch focuser that's what i'm using you can select whichever focuser that you wanted to uh, set it up i'm using sequence generator pro so i go to the control panel and i go to focus use auto focus button i think that is the critical most checkbox that you need to check the steps here they are not relevant for you to set it up the ones inside the auto focus are the ones that are critical most the remaining choices here are pretty much like default the binning here one by one and the exposure is also only when you are using like manually the frame and focus button not for the automatic focus so if you go here there are two options one is hfr the other one is fwhm fwhm requires you to buy the pinpoint software but you can use the half lux radius for focusing and these options i used 30 minutes i also used every filter change you can play around with these depends on what you wanted make sure you set up for narrow band filters what's the exposure time i set it up as two seconds you can set up between 2 and 15 seconds depends on how many stars you see for your narrow band filter and for one shot color I put one second, you can make it more if you have to. You know, 15 seconds is fine. It takes more time when you increase the time. That's the most critical one. The binning also, I set it up as one by one. The reason I set up one by one is it's enough for me at two seconds. If the two seconds is not giving you enough, you can try bin two by two, but I prefer one by one. Autofocus data for points number 9 is the critical most setup. Step size 175, this is my final outcome. But in your case, you have to determine what it is and I'll show you how. Autofocus, it's just for the window to close. Number 4, minimum star diameter, we'll talk more about it. I think leave it as 4. This disable smart focus is required to be checked. If you are using a Smith's Cassegrain telescope or any front obstruction, RASA, you have to check that box. If you are using Explore Scientific and all, you know, you don't need to check that box. Okay, the rest, you don't need to check anything for now. And let's go to the other. So, yeah, we need to talk about this absolute focus and relative focus later. But right now, we are setting up only the backlash compensation here because the rate in which it moves is different when, you, when it is going in and out. So you need to determine your compensation step size. I'll show you how. So in order to test the back focus, make sure your telescope to start with is focused, near perfect. And then the number of data points that you mentioned before were nine. So on the right hand side, you see four data points and on the left hand side, you see four and that's what the nine data points are. And here, if you can see the 28,493 is the step and the one after that was 28,718. So somewhere in that 200 ballpark is what I was playing with. The 200 is my step size. If you don't see, like go look at the right hand side the 30,743 and then 30,518, right? So if your focus starts with a step size and if when it comes down and if it is not coming down as it goes, uh, as it moves on, you know your step size is too small. Backlash setting is too small. So you start with 100 step size is too small, a 1,000 is too big. So you have to start somewhere between a hundred and a thousand, right? So if you, I pick 200 to start with, and then I figured out it's not really happening. So I started adjusting the back focus. I'll show you how. All right. 
So first thing that you do is use the frame and focus on the left hand side to make sure that you are going to focus manually to bring it to a focus point. If you, do, if you did not focus your telescope to start with, I don't think you will get the automatic focus right. So you have to at least focus it somewhere near perfect. So that way when the weaker is being uh, driven by your software, it goes out or in like four points on each side. So that's why you put in like nine points, four on each and one in the middle. So once you complete your kind of a usual focusing routine, however you wanted to focus it, in my case, I use shark cap to look at my stars and I just make the stars as small as I can just by looking at it. Uh, you can use Bathenau mask and set it up. But once you are done with that, then click on the run button in your uh, control panel. When you click on that run button, it opens up. This is, you're not, you're using automatic focus but you are not calling through a sequence, you are just trying to run the focus. You see that I just started it and it goes down and it goes down a lot more. So this is my first try of running it and it is going up. I'm just giving you a live view of um, how it goes wrong. So when you get something like this, what it tells you is when it is uh, kind of going out to the left hand side, it's going at much faster rate, right? So what I did was I went into the in, right? Because that's where my back focus is and I set it up as 100 and I run it again. Because from 30,000 it is coming to 28,000 and that's when it is happening. That's when I determined as uh, backlash should be 100, right? So I'm only working on the backlash. And at this time, when I try it again, it gave me kind of this kind of a window. It is coming down slowly and it is going up much faster, right? See that again? So my backlash is not enough. That's what it tells me right now, okay? So I increase the backlash to like, I don't know, 175 and I run it again. So you have to work one thing at a time. I'm working on backlash first, not the step size right now. I left the step size as like 200 or something. Now it is coming down and I wanted to see when it goes up, how fast it goes up. So it's going actually much slower than the way it was, but it's still more, right? It's still a lot higher when it is uh, going to 28K, right? 28,000. So made it as 275 and see what it does. What it is is your compensation is your step size plus the backlash, right? So when it is coming down 200 steps, it is 200 plus the backlash, right? That's what it is. So now I think I got a perfect V curve, right? It's, I really like the way it came out. And let me show you the, the here. I just changed it to like probably like a 375. I just wanted to show you. And in this particular case, see what happens when you make it too high. It did come down the way I wanted it on the left hand side. It's almost nice. And it is doing a pretty good job going up to so far. So even 375 is pretty good for the backlash. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. I hope this quick tutorial is useful for someone who is trying to set up the automatic focus. Clear skies guys. Thank you.